Okay, today we'll be learning or reviewing neuronal communication. First, the basics. Neurons are nerve cells. They are the basic building blocks of the nervous system. Like any cell, a neuron has a cell body and a nucleus. The basic parts of the neuron are the axons, dendrites, the synapse, and the myelin sheath. The axon is extensions of a neuron and branching terminal fibers. It looks like the tail of the neuron. Here is where the messages or electrical impulses are sent to other muscles or glands. The dendrite of a neuron is the bushy branching extensions or fingers that receive messages and conduct impulses toward the cell body. The synapse is the junction between the axon tip of the sending neuron and the dendrite of the receiving neuron. The tiny gap at this junction is called the synaptic gap or cleft. The myelin sheath is a layer of fatty cells that encase the axon and make neuronal communication faster. Now for neuronal communication. Neurons communicate through action potential. An action potential is a neural impulse. It is a brief electrical charge that travels down the axon. It's the message the axon sends out to other muscles or glands. The impulse is generated by the movement of positively charged atoms in and out of channels into the axon's membrane. When the action potential reaches the knob-like terminals at the axon's end, it triggers the release of chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters cross the synaptic gap and bind to receptor sites to the receiving neuron, like a key in a lock. The neurotransmitter unlocks tiny channels at the receiving site. This allows ions to enter the receiving neuron, either exciting or inhibiting its readiness to fire. Extra neurotransmitters are reabsorbed by the sending neuron in a process called reuptake.